mean I'll be the man Sir Han Sir Han Ayatollah Khomeini and the orchestra ladies and gentlemen Sir Han Sir Han over there Sir Han Sir Han I want to wake up in a plane bound for Tripoli to find I'm king of the hill top of the list A number one I'm the top terrorist if Bob Kennedy had survived 68 For me, Sir Han, Sir Han, Jim Gallagher, ladies and gentlemen, Sir, Sir Han, Sir Han. Yeah. All right, Jim Gallagher, what a guy, what a guy. All right, Jim Gallagher, Sir Han. Jim, thank you very much. Absolutely. Good to have you here, Jim Kelleher. Hmm? One more. Oh, one more song? One more. All right, how about that? More. Uh -huh. ah, let's go with another song. Who cares? What time is it? No. Who? Nobody. What's going to happen on Channel 45? Anything? Nothing. 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 All right, put that on that there. Well, well, uh, yeah. Another song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> we need that taped applause so much. Um, uh, let's see. Well. A tune that's um, about a subject very near to our heart. Something that I think maybe we could address this directly to the people that own Cox Cable. Because as we know, those of us who watch network television, because Cox doesn't want to come into our neighborhood, uh, the only good stuff worth watching on television is professional wrestling and the Three Stooges. Pro wrestling, of course, is here to stay, but these people on network TV keep jerking the Stooges out of the lineup. Okay. Well, maybe Cox can do something about it, because it just brings a tear to my eye.
for Kelleher's Leap. That's right. Now, we're supposed to be going on till midnight tonight. This is a bit of an editorial comment. We're supposed to be going on till midnight, but I understand. Here it is. Let's bring this over here. Very there sad. it is. There we go. And this is, uh, Ian, do you want to do a drum solo? Is that what the story is? What a guy. It's Ian Tracy, and our producer, of course. We've got this note that I've been informed uh, arrived just recently, and it says right here, that uh, there's no advertising. That's why we didn't show any advertisements. That means we're doing this whole show for free. That's no good, ladies and gentlemen. No good at all. Now, I want to show you something. I want to show you something that's near and dear to my heart. See this? It's money. I like to call it money. Is it illegal to show? <laughs> I don't care. OK, here it is. Money, ladies and gentlemen. We need this. This is a 20. This has got Andrew Jackson on it. I'm thinking more like U.S. Grant, Ben Franklin, guys like that. People that were close to me. Ben Franklin, for instance, he was the guy who uh, she started the first uh, started the first library, first fire station, first topless bar. I mean, this man <laughs> did everything in this country, and uh, we need some of him. So, you folks out there, you wanna you wanna do some uh, do something for us? Wanna do something? Keep Club Genius on the air. I mean, let's face it, this is Entertainment City. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. These people here are great. Of course, of course, this Entertainment City. Send some of this stuff, right? Buy some advertising. That's what we want. Buy some advertising, put your stupid ads on the show. I'll put up a slide. I'll talk about your thing. I'll hold up your catcher's mitt. I don't care, you know what I mean? This is what we need right here. Pay these guys running the camera. These guys are working hard. You know what I mean? OK, yeah, these guys are working hard. Now here's Pam Tracy. Yes. Yes, if you want to save Club Genius, call our advertising department at 943-6705. Come on, save Rudy's kids. Yeah. There's yeah. one of my kids right now. Uh, we'll be glad you great did. job. What a professional you are. That number is 943-6705. Fire, fire, fire again. Hey, yeah. Now go to the car. Now go to the car. You want to play. You want the cigar, don't you? You just want the cigar, don't you? That's all you want. You bent my cigar. What kind of a guy? I'm gonna bend my cigar. Oh, don't do that. That's not good at all. Just want my cigar. You want to bend it? It's no good at all, huh? I'm trying to tell you. Okay. It's in my mouth now. That's where I want to go here. I'm trying to tell you there. I'm going to smoke that cigar after the show. I wanted to smoke that cigar after the show. I can't. Oh. Okay. We hold, we hold on to that cigar. I, 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 I'm, Mom's got it. See over there. She's got it over there. See there? There we go. Yeah. They love you, Ian. They love you there. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
probably no no light in America because they don't have the backgrounds, edu education, no school, no electricity, no hospital in the in the top mountain, and they were only farmers. They come to this country, everything changed. Could you describe the village that that you grew up in, Tang? Maybe Tia, you could add something. Yeah, I grew up. We're here in the home of Mark Cheeseburger Dunkelman, and we want to talk to him about his outstanding autograph collection. So, Mark, let's see if anybody's home. Hey, Mark, you home? Hi, Rudy. Oh, there he is now. Let's go over and meet Mark Dunkelman. Mark. Rudy. How are you? Good to see you. All right, great to see you. This is a beautiful house you've got here. Oh, How do you like you. the, uh, we brought our TV cameras in. Oh, I want wonderful. to look at your autograph collection. Autos. Autographs. Very right. good. Very good. Okay. You've come to the right place, I think. Well, this is it. And of course, you notice this beautiful, that's a painting of yours, too. Mark's also a noted painter. Yes, that is uh, an older one of mine. Right, and uh, here's a book. Mark, also an author. And uh, this book here, Hardtack Regiment. Anybody interested in really severe stuff about the Civil War, <laughs> get this book right here, because it's totally boring. Okay, no, 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 it's a, <laughs> it's a fascinating book, but... Uh, well, yeah, you'd have to read it, I suppose. I guess you'd have to go through something like that. I prefer just to read the reviews. So anyway, um, let's take a look at some of these autographs here, Mark. Uh, okay. This is now. This is one of your now. Mark's autographs are, I understand, they're all uh, American autographs. Yeah. That's what I've kept myself to. It's just go after Americans. I call them interesting Americans, really, and that's what uh, that's who I write to. Uh, my letter goes, dear so and so. I collect, as a hobby, I collect autographs of interesting Americans. Would you please, uh, gee, I forgot my form letter. That's tremendous, Mark. <laughs> okay, uh, Mark, this looks like the former governor of Florida, Leroy Collins, another uh, name blast from the past <laughs> that I think a lot of the people out there will not recognize. So. Probably not. Oh, it's, uh, I don't really uh, recognize him myself. Well, here we are getting into better known personalities like John Cor... D Mark, there's nobody in here I've ever heard of. Let's get... Let's, let's move on here. Okay. Now, this guy I've heard of. Dwight D. Eisenhower, President of the United States. Yeah. It's, uh... That is a photograph with a signature printed on it. That's not an autograph. Right. I noticed this nice shot of Mamie here in the background. You've, mm. you've got Mamie as well. There's another item. Yeah, I got Mamie. And uh, this appears to be Cookie Gilchrist from the Buffalo, uh, Buffalo football Bills. team, the Buffalo Bills, and you were still living in the Buffalo area. Well, yep, still a fan of the old Bills. Oh, that's good. Cookie Gilchrist. And here's uh, <clears throat> the head of the Lutheran Church or something here. Uh, so, uh, Herbert Hoover, of course. Uh, and J. Edgar Hoover. Now, I understand you have a photograph of you with J. Edgar Hoover somewhere, don't you? You're going to make me get that out, huh? I'm going to, uh, I, I, would, I think the people would like to see you, Mark. They'd like to see you in an embarrassingly early age. Okay, look through there. See if you recognize anybody else, and I'll try to find it. Oh, Hubert Humphrey. Here's Hubert Humphrey. Uh, and, uh, Lyndon Johnson looking very, very Mr. Man in this shot here. Look at this. It's this. Look here, it's LBJ. Quite, quite impressive. LBJ, right, our only Spanish speaking president. Here's uh, John Kennedy. John F. Kennedy, and it looks 
like a real signature. I mean, this uh, uh, any of these worth money? Uh, this uh, if they're real, that's if the big real. point. That's the big point. I'm not sure whether that one is or not. And there's a whole book apparently out on the uh, fake signatures of Kennedy. Yeah. There's several methods of, of faking a signature, secretarial which anybody can sign it, whether it's a secretary or people they hire at the movie studios to sign these pictures of the stars. Auto pens, which was a mechanical process, and that's even been refined into something called a Cigna signer, which is an actual machine. You can write in messages and your signature different ways, and the secretary can just hit a button, and the machine using a felt tip, any type of writing implement, will scribble that message. She hits another button, the other message comes out. So that's making it really tough for autograph collectors today. So they're mixing it up on you. It's kind of like a... Uh, it's hard to authentic authenticate, and I've never taken my collection to a real appraiser. But I don't care if they're real or not, because I've got a picture of these so-and-sos with their signature on it, you know? Right. Here's one, Mark. Uh, this, uh, this cheeseburger written looks like a different handwriting. This is one from Batman, <laughs> Adam West. What's, uh, what's the story behind this here? Uh, Batman appeared in the Civic Center at the Custom Car Show a few years back, and uh, vendors were selling these, these photographs with this all printed on, and then would sign your name onto it for all the kids and myself. The, the vendors? And a chance to meet Adam, Adam West. Yes, the vendor did, and asked me how to spell cheeseburgers, so I spelled it out very slowly for him before the Civic Center. I mean, you would think that he would, he would uh, know how to sell that, since that's usually what he's vending, usually. Uh... Batman would have known how to, how to write cheeseburger, believe me. The and this is, this is really interesting here. We get, um, there you are, Mark, and this is, is this your, your mom and dad and your sister? That's... Yep, that's my sister Amy and my mom and dad, Irene and, and Harold, and J. Edgar Hoover. The head G-man himself. The top one, yep. Top dog, and I think that... Uh... After that, we went down and saw the shooting gallery and uh, all the displays. <laughs> The labs. Right. Yeah. Dillinger's uh, death mask, whatever. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, this is this is pretty exciting. Well, let's let's take a look at some of this other more interesting stuff over in the in the other room. So let's let's want to take a walk in and take a look at the. Uh, Why don't we do that? That's that's what's in the script. We've got to do it. Let's go. Okay. Well, here we go. Well, Mark, it looks like you've uh, just throw this trash around, huh? What is this? Well, I just put them out. So you can plunge in and take a look, see if you yeah. recognize anybody here. Well, that's pretty recognizable. Here's, uh, this is Marlon Brando, and uh, you would think this is probably a rather rare autograph. Didn't he punch some guy out in New York or something? It was I don't remember stories about him, but I did figure it would be a tough one, and I was rather surprised when I got it back. Here's one, Anita Bryant. And it looks like Anita sent you some PR here. Uh, yeah, somehow s somebody... Uh, s got me on her mailing list <laughs> and uh, she sent me this so I sent the back page here because it's got a picture of her and her most precious possession her family which is no longer and a phony signature so I sent it back and it came back with her real signature and a suggestion to read uh, this Bible passage yes this is uh, Phil 413 sure that's not Phil Donahue or something like that like mm -hmm. on April 13th he... no I guess not probably not but um Will you help me stop the militant homosexuals and stop the evil child pornography business and stop the sex of... Okay, well, okay, Anita. We get the point here. The reprehensible John Davidson. <laughs> that's not a, hey, he wishes me the best. He, he wishes... Well, I guess he's not all bad, but I just... I have hard feelings about John. He's never asked me on the show. Now, here's the interesting thing here. To Mark, in quotation marks, your amigo, Ricardo Montalban. Now, does he think that Mark is like a fake name? Is this why he's... Quite possible. Yeah. I don't know. Well, Ricardo seems like a swell guy, and plus I understand he plays tennis with uh, with Johnny Carson, and that's does it okay by me. That's I guess. good. Johnny's right down the end there. Johnny's down here. Oh yeah, there's here's uh, here's Johnny. Johnny, a real vintage shot here. <laughs> yeah, an old buck hat. His hair eventually uh, turned that entire color too. Well, uh, not by that process, I don't think. <laughs> I certainly hope. I think that might be a real signature, Rudy, on that. Like I say, I'm not sure about it. As opposed to the pen or the... Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, phony stuff. But, uh, let's see what else... Oh, here's a very vital one. Me. Oh. Gee, who's that? Me, folks. One of the non-famous guys who 
hopefully will be famous just by being in this photograph collection, this autograph photograph collection. Mr. Sincere, Rudy Cheeks. Well, thank you very much, and we had a great time here at Mark Dunkelman's looking at his beautiful autograph collection. This is just... Uh, you enjoyed it, huh? Very interesting, Mark. Very really? interesting, yeah. I think it was pretty good, huh? I, I'm, I'm pretty impressed, yeah. Rudy, I'm glad about that, but i got to tell you, um, these are all fake signatures. I, I did all these last night, got a bunch of different pens out, and <laughs> signed all these pictures just to, so I could get on your show. Well, um... You did do a lot of work anyway, Mark, and uh, I think the people out there uh, really uh, really appreciate it. Uh, that proves it. <laughs> okay, we're out here on Elm Street in Anytown, USA, celebrating Halloween with some of the normal kids from the normal families here in the neighborhood. So let's interview some of these kids about the very exciting Halloween. What are you guys dressed up as? Robots. Robots? Is that what you... Mine, I'm a robot. You are a robot. Okay. Jesse, what do you think, uh, have you been, uh, have you, what were you last year at Halloween? Well, I, I was, um, I forget. You forget what you were last year. Do you remember what you were, Aaron? Yeah. Well, I was Dracula. You were Dracula, were you? I was a mummy. You were a mummy. So you guys are into this stuff where you get all wrapped up. Can you see very good? Yeah. yeah. You can see pretty good. And what do you think? Are you going to be able to uh, see your way across the street? Are you going to go out with your mom or dad? or any? Who are you going to go out with? I'm going to go out with my mom. You're going to go out with your mom this year? Both you guys are? Yeah. Okay, and you, she's going to show you across the street and all. Yeah. Right. Okay, well, listen, fellas. Now, there's been a problem this year. That, uh, wh what houses do you go to? I know that they were talking about well, your problem with. Yeah, we're going with our friends. Just with your friends, because there's a con some concern about the uh, people putting poison and crazy stuff like that. So, you're just going to go to places you know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and you're gonna. When are you going to carry all this all this candy back home in? Um, bag. Uh, just a bag, a normal brown paper bag. Yeah. yeah. You guys don't have any kind of armored truck that follows you around. No. Okay, we're here now with Lily. And Lily, what are you dressed as this Halloween? Annie. Annie? Oh, yeah? What you got? Are those your real freckles? No. What are they? Um, it's makeup. It's makeup, huh? And who put the makeup on you? My mom. Your mom did, huh? Can you sing some songs? Let me hear you sing like you were Annie. I don't want to. You don't want to? How come? I just don't feel like it. Okay, now we have Jojo here. Jojo, what's that outfit you've got? Ah, uh, uh, Japanese girl. You're a Japanese girl? Yeah. And what, you want to hold the microphone? Is that what yeah. you want to do? Okay, now you got to hold it over here so I can talk. Okay. Okay, that, okay that's pretty good there. <laughs> now, Jojo, what? what, are you going to go around in the neighborhood? Is that where you're going to go? Yeah. And what... You don't sing any songs? No. No? No, no songs for you? Japanese don't sing songs. And now we have Teddy here. Look down the camera, okay? Teddy, what are you dressed up as? Army man. An army man? Kind of like G.I. Joe? Yep. And which house do you go to? I go to the friends' houses. Your friends' houses? And they have, what do they have? Candy for you? Yeah. How come they don't have that the rest of the year? Because. They're not stupid like me, right? No. <laughs> that's very serious. Make a pledge. I'll raise your right hand. Say, oh, no, no, that's right. You got the right hand. Yeah. Uh, raise your right hand. It's left on TV. I can understand you're 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 being uh, confused. Now and say, I promise. I promise. To brush my teeth. To brush my teeth. Regularly. Regularly. Okay, that's good, Ted. You stop. Okay, now we're here with Pam. Pam, what are you dressed up as? A witch. A witch, huh? Yeah. And Pam, who, who, how, who made that outfit for you? I did. You made it yourself, huh? Yeah, well, my sister helped. Your sister helped? Yeah. yeah is your sister older or younger? Older. Yeah, and this, you did a real good job. How, which, okay, well, listen, Dusty, I can see that you're going to probably pile home more candy than anybody in the world tonight, right? Yeah. yeah. 
And then what are you gonna, how long is it gonna take you to eat it all? About a day. And what do you do if it gets dark when you're walking across the street? Um, use a flashlight. Use a flashlight, right, and blind the driver of the car, right? No. They'll learn, no? <laughs> okay, that's just my idea, Pam. Uh, okay, we're here now with Heidi. Heidi, what's that you're dressed as? Smurfette. A what? Smurfette. A Smurfette, huh? And where'd you get that costume? From Toy World. From Toy World. You didn't buy it yourself then, huh? Nope. Nope. And this looks pretty good. This looks like it'd be okay in the rain, too, huh? Yep. Okay, now here's Little Dusty. Little Dusty, what's that outfit there? That's the most, one of the more intriguing ones we've seen. Punk rocker. A punk rocker, huh? Yeah. This is your kind. And do you think that these guys wear white face all the time? I don't know. I just did it. You just did it, huh? Yeah. What about, how'd you do that hair? Oh, hair's right. With red stuff in it. Are you going to have a hard time getting that out of there? Yeah. <laughs> what do you think now? Do you think you were a smart guy to do this? No. <laughs> no you were not. Okay, now we're here with Jane. Jane, what are you dressed as? A uh, modern housewife. And uh, Jane, uh, well, who made your costume? Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, D.C. Not to be confused with C.T. Okay, C.T. That's the creeping terror mm -hmm, as opposed yes, to yes, extraterrestrial. Yes, right. That's right. Right. And... Uh, and you, uh, what, 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 where are you going to go in, uh, for Halloween? Where? Oh, around anybody who has oh, anything to drink or food or whatever, you know. Mm -hmm. If they have something, I'll be there. Okay. And who are you going to go out with? Well, I'll probably have to go with my husband, I guess. <laughs> he, he's going to bake me. <laughs> well, I understand that. But he might be interested in the food and drink, too, that you're going to be extorting. Yes, that's probably true. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs>